Bloxburg just dropped its brand new update. And oh my gosh, this one is like the best. I call this one Bloxburg Toddler Stuff. And let me tell you why it's Bloxburg Toddler Stuff. Okay, to start off with, we got some brand new toddler themed furniture. Like... These are all amazing. Like we all knew that the, that these were coming because Bloxburg had teased a lot of them. But like we have some brand new, you know, toddler bicycle. We got this nice new scooter. Um, we got this li little tykes um car. It's this is like a car that most kids have when they are growing up. Um, if you didn't have this car, you're obviously missing out. But this is amazing. We also got a nice little shopping cart for little kids and we also in the teasers we saw a, a lot of the castle themed items now i thought this would be like oh we're gonna get a lot of castle themed items like it's gonna be where we can build our own castles but no i was wrong it's all just castle themed toddler furniture and like i could just redo my toddler room right now in my mansion it's just just this is just amazing and we have this over here, which is a nice little toy organizer. Now, this is the exact same one that I have in my living room for my sister's daughter, which is, th th this is amazing. Like, this goes, well, you can put it in, like, the kids' room or your living room in your Bloxburg house, which I think this is really nice. And you, and you can stuff toys in there as well. Um, we got some space-themed furniture and the space-themed ceiling tiles, well, was ceiling decal. I think that's what it is. Well, ceiling tile, ceiling decal. We got a new space themed ceiling fan that can go into a toddler room. So like you can like create your own space themed toddler um, room as, as well as like a castle themed toddler, toddler room because you got your um, pillow. Um, you also got the star pillow over there as well. And there's also some pretty cool new items as well. Like the diary, I think this will go good like in a teen bedroom. So a little bit for like teens right there too. Um, we also got this brand new car play mat. I used to have a car play mat growing up and this is amazing. Um, obviously all the buildings are not updated as well. And also the parking garage is not there. Um, just notice how that's not there. We love that. Um, but obviously I think I, did I go over that there's new lamps, but yeah, there's new lamps. We got this new nightstand thing. Um, but this is not the only thing that they dropped in this update. Um, there's a lot more. Um, first let's just go here. So obviously there are new toddler animations when you're walking. This looks so cute. This looks so cute. Um, when you're, what, I was just like scratching my head right there. That, that is definitely new. The, the scratching the head, um, jumping as well, you're, yeah, and then there's also, like, running, I think, oh, oh, that just looks so cute. Role-playing as a toddler has just become a lot more amazing. That's just amazing. We love this, oh my god. But yeah, um, we, so we got some brand new items, so first off, we got a, um, too young, too play with the yo-yo all right so apparently you can't play with the yo-yo when you're a toddler um but we got the play-doh and i love play-doh play-doh is amazing i used to play with play-doh a lot i used to do a lot of stuff with play-doh we love that so obviously you're too you're, you're too young to play with the yo-yo but we got this scrap book i think well, the storybook. But just look at all the animations as they, as they play through. Like, they're just... They're, the attention to detail and um, the Bloxburg animator, the best Bloxburg animator, um, did all these animations. And I think that it's made... See? You're, like, wiping your head, scratching your head, whatever. Like, look, that's just amazing. That's just amazing. Like, it just dives right into the details of role-playing. And I... And I love that so much. Like, that is just so amazing. So obviously you can change the picture to this. This is um a scrapbook kind of thing. We also have this brand new jewelry box. Um, which is amazing. You can put your jewelry in there. And obviously there's that little um 
thing that spins around when you open it. So that's also amazing as well. We got this throne. Um, you sit in there and you're just a little kid and stuff. And obviously this is a wardrobe. If you didn't know. Um, but we also got um, this nice little family tree thing. And let me tell you about the family tree. Let me tell you about the family tree feature. It's amazing. It's like one of the best features ever. So obviously you go here. You go to permissions and family. And then you go into family tree. And obviously you can change your family permissions. And invite to family. With my friends I'm definitely going to do something with the family tree. And just like mess around with it. But there's also something brand new. There's this button over here under permissions of family is settings. You can now do lots of different settings. In Bloxburg, in the unofficial Discord server, their unofficial Discord server, they kind of highlighted, well, in the change log, they kind of highlighted that you can stop fridge theft with these permissions. So rest in peace to me and my friend, Going to Bloxburg cafes or Bloxburg houses, asking for roommates to go through the fridge and steal all their items. Like, see, you can follow, uh, allow players to t um, allow players taking food options, um, take quick meals, take ingredients. So, like, you can just turn that off for roommates, and no roommate will be able to go into your refrigerator anymore. And I think you could also do that with co-owners. Um, so obviously right here, if you do co-owner, it is just, this will allow players joining your family to build on your plot. So now this will be default family permissions, obviously, um, go to guests and stuff. So this will be basically, um, permission settings and it'll be roommate. Um, so anything that's here for like roommate, like you can do turning off all of the um, stuff like if you don't want anyone to use your cars you can turn off the used cars if you don't want anyone to turn on radios you can turn off the radios or respawn cars on your plot I think that was so annoying having a lot of my friends come over to my um, plot and I have like this big house with a lot of cars and they would just like take all the cars and run and like you know when I'm using the car they would respawn it so I think that with these permissions right here these are so amazing like gardening like store plants harvest produce and harvest well harvest produce harvest plants and then like you know turn on and off lights oh use power boxes i love that i love that because my friends i would give them like roommate or whatever and they would just go to my power box turn it off and on 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 and i think that is amazing just that you can no longer you can turn off the toggle for the use power boxes which is amazing content access allows um players to view and use your fridge content so if you turn that off your roommates will no longer be able to use your fridge content take ingredients um take quick meal so content access so you turn that off and now no one will be able to steal from your fridge i think it would just go here yeah so all those are on by default for roommate so obviously you can toggle that on and off and that's like the permissions and family tree part of it i think that this makes the update real real amazing all right so now we're gonna head over here to the fridge and we're gonna look at some of the new food items and take quick meal so obviously the first one we don't have any the second one we don't have any new items this one again no new items this one again no new items Okay, so we have the packaged cheese crackers, which are amazing the, with the packaged cheese crackers. Oh, okay. Well, I'm trying to use shift P and my, and my shift lock was odd, but this is amazing using free cam. I was trying to use free cam. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but this is amazing. The cheese crackers. I love the peanut butter crackers. I love the peanut butter crackers more than the cheese crackers, but these are these are nice toddler foods or kids foods like they're really touching on the roleplay aspects within all these updates so far like all these updates have been like a lot of roleplay ass like aspects and like like the Blacksburgers update was obviously a build mode update for people to like build diners and stuff and this one is just you know a a role play update so let's place the cheese crackers down because there's also one more brand new food that is amazing and it's something i used to have a lot and i don't have it anymore because i haven't you know 
had any of it in a while, but here we are. Pizza rolls. So, unable to do that. You're too young to make pizza rolls, so you can't make pizza rolls as a toddler. Um, but let's go over to the wardrobe and let's just, you know, age up a little bit. Alright, so we aged up to Kid, and hopefully Kid will allow us to um, make some pizza rolls. Play the pizza rolls. See if we're able to garnish. Yep, we're now able... Oh, I forgot that you put like a step stool to do that. That's amazing. So, obviously you're opening up the bag. And now you have to go ahead and bake the pizza rolls. So we're going to let the pizza rolls bake. We're going to let the pizza rolls bake. Because now there are some brand new animations as well. That are like peekaboo and dab. Um, so emotes. I think they're in other. No. Gestures. Oh yeah, there's peekaboo. So you're playing with a little kid. And you're just going, oh, peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. That's that's amazing. I love that. And then um, the the Bloxburg developers had also said something about the new dab animation for being a cool parent. And emphasis on the cool because, you know, dabbing is not that cool anymore. This is like a long time ago, but this new dab animation, like, oh my god. The Bloxburg, the Bloxburg developers definitely outdid themselves with this update. It's it's amazing. Um, but let's also go check on the yo-yo because we also didn't, or we also weren't able to use the yo-yo as a toddler. You can use the yo-yo as a kid. So if you use the yo-yo, oh, I always have trouble using yo-yos. Like it's, it, it was one of these things for me that was just difficult to use. Now, obviously I didn't check the, the diary. Oh, so there's not much you can do with it. You can't write in it or whatever. But you know that's a, that's a, that's amazing. We love that. But all of these, I love these so much. Wait, I wanted to do the the slide. See if the, like the slide was able to have you slide down. Yeah, you are able to slide down. Obviously, it's just the Roblox um slide physics, and they're terrible. And they are terrible because you can't do a lot of animations with sliding on Roblox. But that's pretty much the update. Um, I don't know if I missed anything within the update. And if I did, then oh well. Um, but actually, I want to go into build mode because obviously I always look for new textures as well. Um, even though it wasn't in the change log, that could have been like you know a, like a little bit of a secret or whatever. But it doesn't seem like there's any new textures. They will they, again. They would probably announce that in the, like the change log. But I'm trying to um kill some time here so we can take our pizza rolls out of the oven, and now we have some pizza rolls. That's amazing. Uh, these look super undercooked. I like my pizza rolls to be more brown than that. Golden brown. Um, you got also a little sauce that you can just dip it into. I don't eat it with sauce because I don't really like sauce. Sauce is like disgusting to me. But that's some of the new foods. Um, again, and I also heard that a lot of the Halloween items are still in take ingredients. Um, if we search up pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin macaroons and pumpkin um, chocolate chip bread. I think that these aren't special items then. Maybe. Because they would have a star next to them if they were um, limited time items. Maybe they just decided that they were just going to keep those in there. But I also don't think... Yeah, you can't even see those in there either. You can just search for them. Oh, no. They're right there. The pumpkin macaroons. Okay. I, that, that, that That's just a little update secret, I guess. But that is amazing. This update is amazing. Bloxburg toddler stuff. That's what I am dubbing this update. Um, I usually dub each update. Like the Bloxburger update was the restaurant update. Um, the update previous to this was... The Halloween update, obviously you just call that Halloween update. 
And then next update obviously is going to be dropping on December 9th for the annual elf hunt. And I'll be doing the elf hunt every single day. Um, I tried to do that last year, but it just didn't work out with school and stuff. But this year I'll be doing the elf hunt every single day. I will have a video out for everyone to find the elf. If I do stream, I'll probably stream those as well. Um, but yeah. This update is amazing. I'm going to play in this update a lot. Maybe do some other stuff as well with my Bloxburg house because obviously the Halloween update is gone. So all the Halloween decorations, all the Halloween items are gone. If you look into build mode and you go in here to decorate, there's no there's no special category anymore. The special category is gone for this update and it's going to return for the next update, which means if I go back to my mansion, then... I can remove all my Halloween items. It's very, very early for Bloxburg update. Last year, this updated on November 12th is when we got the toilet update. Um, eh, not, not, not that much of a great update, but this update is amazing. Obviously, this update is small because they're going to do a bigger update for the Christmas update because it's the holiday update. They're not going to skip the Christmas update, as a lot of people um, may say. But the Christmas update is something that everyone looks forward to, so they're obviously going to keep that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the Christmas update. That's going to drop December 9th. We already know this because of the elf one, and we have 16 elves to find all across the map each day so obviously it makes sense for it to be dropping on december 9th so that's something we always know when it drops whether it's like a thursday or not they or they will update it on the thursday before the 9th if the 9th isn't a thursday um because they do update on thursdays um and they've been updating on thursdays for a lot of updates so that would mean because december 9th is a saturday so they could update on the 7th and then have the elf hunt start on the 9th so th there is a little bit of leeway so the 7th or 9th is whenever the update would drop um who knows but anyways um thank you guys so much for watching um i have a discord server the link is in the description so go ahead and join that i'm gonna be chatting in there every single day i play with around with my discord bot and i also do a lot of other stuff in my discord server as well um so without further ado i um, wish nothing but greatness for everyone going forward. And also it is November, which means it is my birthday month. So you have to subscribe. Not really. Um, but you can, if you want to, it'll grace, it will help me and I will greatly appreciate it. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. So bye.